When he first appeared on this program in 2015, I said it was the most impressive resume of any guest I'd ever had on the program. I think that remains true today because since that time, he added the, the, the heading of governor to his resume. But uh, former Navy SEAL, earned the Bronze Star and the Purple Heart, New York Times bestselling author, Rhodes Scholar with a Ph.D. from Oxford. Fortune magazine named him to the list of the 50 greatest leaders for helping wounded veterans and then became the 56th governor of Missouri before being targeted by what has been called a a completely political attack and a a political prosecution that was dropped. And now those that tried to pull that stunt are facing huge problems themselves. In fact, if if I'm not mistaken, Eric, because I don't know if I should call you uh, doctor or governor, or so I'm just going to call you Eric if that's Eric, right. Eric works great. Uh, fair yeah. enough. Uh, but uh, if I'm not mistaken, a resolution has been introduced in the Missouri State House calling for the Department of Justice and Bill Barr, the Attorney General of the United States, to investigate. You mentioned that $120,000 being paid to people who lied about you. They were paid cash money to lie and make things up about you to try to make this uh, erroneous prosecution stick. Do you think Bill Barr will weigh in? I hope that they will. We certainly need federal law enforcement to look at this because what happened, what everyone now knows and everyone agrees happened in Missouri is that my political enemies came in and they dropped off at least, it's at least $120,000 in cash. It was dropped off to people who lied, dropped off to people who made false accusations. This was part of their criminal effort to overturn the 2016 election, and absolutely it has to be investigated, and we need to get to the bottom of it, not just for the people of Missouri, but because people around the country need to know that when this stuff happens, when the left attacks in this way, when they make false charges, when they bring false accusations, when they pay people to lie, that we're going to get to the bottom of it. Yeah, so all the charges, let me ask you something, because all the charges, if I'm, if I'm understanding the timeline, were dropped prior to you resigning from office. Why, why, do you, did you make the right decision to step down in June of 18, or do you, do you think maybe you should have stuck it out? You know, it was the right decision at the time for the people who I loved uh, the most. I mean, one of the things that they do uh, to you, Steve, when you come in as a, as a conservative outsider like this, is that they attack you. They also attack everyone around you. They attack your family. They drag you through the mud for months. And the other thing is that while they attack you using taxpayer dollars, they make you pay for every penny of this yourself. And so you build up literally millions of dollars in legal bills that accumulate. And even even when you're absolutely innocent, what ends up happening is that you can end up facing a lifetime in debt. And it's not just what they do to me. This is the left playbook. My buddy, Navy SEAL Ryan Zinke, Secretary of the Interior. Right. They went after him, accusation after accusation. And he said to me, he's like, I'm 11 for 11. He was right about all of them. But they try to drive your family into bankruptcy. It was the right decision at the time. It was the hardest thing, Steve, I've ever had to do. Yeah, I think Zinke's a good man, by the way. We spent time with Ryan Zinke. Uh, if you want something done, you know, you ask a guy from Montana to roll up his sleeves, you get things done. It's kind of the way that works, but that's an aside. All right, so let me ask you this. Where do you go from here? Um, you, you, I'm going to guess you're going to sue. You haven't said that yet. What about politics? Will you, will you go back and say, listen, we did everything we were supposed to do. We promised you everything. We kept our promises. We are run out of office on completely false allegations. These people have now been head, held to account. Uh, what is your future in politics? Well, Steve, I'm definitely going to continue to serve. I'm, I'm still serving uh, today in the, in the Navy Reserve. I'm definitely going to continue to serve. I loved, it was a great honor and a blessing to be able to serve uh, the people of Missouri. I don't know, you know exactly what's going to happen in terms of the, the time frame on that. My, my 100% of my focus right now is on getting out this story, not, not just that I've been exonerated, but letting people around the country know that this is what the left does. So let me ask you right yeah. there. Yeah. Let me ask you right there. So you, you know what your experience was that it was completely false, made up. People were paid off to say things that were completely made up of a whole cloth. They're not true. Not, not just not true, but complete fiction. Right. What parallels do you draw with what you see happening to, to, to President Trump on a regular basis? It is exactly what's happening. 
happening to President Trump. You see, this is how the left comes in and how they attack people. You ask anybody around the country, say, why did they impeach President Trump? They impeached him because he was President Trump. They go after you because of who you are. I came in as a conservative outsider, and we took on the political establishment. We stood up for police. We stood up for law enforcement, and they came after us. This is what they do, and you see all of these parallels. Look, a lot of people around the country, you know, they might doubt. They say, well, can it really be true that they break laws in order to drive yes. people out? In Missouri, we have the proof now. This is just the lead investigator. The prosecutor is still under criminal investigation. Just the lead investigator, seven felony counts for perjury and evidence tampering. And that trial starts next week. Uh, that, that, well, that trial starts next month. Next month, excuse that, me. That, that trial starts next month. And then, you know, people doubt Will they actually, you know, do they pay people off to make things up? Here we have in Missouri proof at least $120,000 in cash. So, yes, we have to get this story out because it is important for people around the country to understand this is their playbook, and they're not just doing it to me. They're doing it to President Trump. They're doing it to conservative outsiders across the country. And by extension, Eric, yes, they're doing it to the voters. They're taking away the duly elected people that are there doing the job, like yourself, like the president, that they've been elected to do, and fulfilling those promises and getting eviscerated as they do it. I have to leave it there for today. Great, uh, uh, great having you here. Really appreciate you sharing the story. We will get it out, and we will have you back soon because I feel like we're just getting started. But Eric Greitens, uh, very proud that you have been able to stand tall through all of this, and thank you for your service, and thank you for being here today. God bless you, Steve. Great to be on with you, man. Thank there, you. There you have it. Eric Greitens. Go read that story. We'll stay with it here on the Steve Gruber Show. No place else are you going to hear that. We'll be right back.